Hey, thanks for listening to the Amlin In The Mix podcast. Here, you will find all the latest in music technology, software and hardware, interviews and more. Also, don't forget to check out the Amlin In The Mix YouTube channel today. Now, let's get into the podcast. I used to think of my life as a trap star. I used to think of my life as a trap star. I reckon on the beat. Hey guys, welcome back to the Emlyn in the Mix podcast, season three, episode 50. It is the last episode for 2022. Yes, we made it, episode 50. I cannot believe that is a lot of episodes to be doing in a season. But anyway, here we are at the end of 2022. Now, for those of you who have just joined me because you want to check out the Korg Mod Wave, you're not here to, to hear me ramble on about awesome music gear and music technology just skip along to the end i'll have a timeline down below you can just go straight to the korg mod wave which is our feature today but for those of you who are regular listeners or you're new to this podcast and you want to listen check out all the goodies stick around we've got a jam-packed podcast for you actually got a surprisingly jam-packed podcast i was expecting this time of year to actually do like my best and worst of 2022 video i was going to include it in this podcast but this year Honestly, if I was to sum up 2022, it has been for music, for the music world and music technology. It is literally, if I had to sum it up in one word or two words or three words, <laughs> it's just been full of surprises. And and I guess this this last episode really sums up the year because we're still got releases coming out at the end of December 2022. It really feels like because of the pandemic and because of that two years really that got slowed down and lost in this industry and in every other industry that I'm aware of, this year we've just seen a pipeline of production of software and hardware just getting pushed out and it's come to fruition in this in the music technology world so it's been a really exciting year 2022 and actually i just a heads up 2023 is looking really crazy exciting already just from a few things that i know which i can't talk about yet but 2022 has been the year of surprises for me and particularly from this company which is making a good segue into our first product here we're going to talk about on the podcast which is teenage engineering of course they have honestly (laughs) in every fashion possible have surprised and delighted us this year in 2022 what did they do they released a beer they released a a fully functioning state-of-the-art pro audio mixer that's the size or a little bit bigger than the deck of cards they updated the op1 synthesizer with the op1 field and they just kept releasing interesting and surprising products after the next which almost felt like a weekly basis in 2022 and what wouldn't the emlin in the mix podcast be without a mention of teenage engineering doing something new well this is basically something that they released this last year but they've just changed the color on it which is this very interesting i really want to see if anyone's modding these and putting Mac inside of them as well because I'm an Apple user, Apple Mac user, and I really love this case here. So what is it? It is the simple computer case. They've just changed the color on it. I prefer this anodized silver here. And I did forget to mention though before we get, there's so much to talk about in today's podcast, by the way. I'm going to have all the affiliate links down below from today's podcast. Thank you for those who support the channel, those who have gone out and clicked on those links and actually got themselves products. Thank you so much. And yeah, really appreciate the support this year, by the way. Let's keep going here with the podcast. So they've basically re-released a simple computer case and they've done it in in an anodized silver and yeah if you're watching us here on the vodcast youtube or spotify you can see it here in the background looks really nice like it it's almost like a fresh spin take on i think it was the i think it's still out that the new mac pro and is it the mac pro yeah i think it is and you can get those crazy one thousand dollar wheels for it or whatever here's the original this is the orange I just thought this was good. It's a small desktop footprint. It's very small, actually, from my understanding. They don't have anything to compare it to here. 
But you basically get you get it in the sheets like this and you build it yourself. And so you can if you're a computer maker or you're someone who's into fiddling around with building your own computers this is just a nice little extra touch you can have your own little customized case from teenage engineering it has a logo on there which is really cool if you're a teenage engineering person you love teenage engineering you can express that with the logo it just looks really really nice I love the look of this this color scheme. The silver anodized, it's starting to look very Apple, to be honest. But I'm curious. I want to see if anyone's putting, like, maybe a Mac Mini inside one of these or I'm not sure how you could do it. You'd have to... That could be difficult, like opening up the Mac Mini and getting all its components sort of spread out so that it fits in this computer case, the simple computer case. But I want to see if anyone's doing it. I think that would be really cool. And just... Another awesome product here. Just another example of Teenage Engineering's awesome products that they've done this year. All right, let's keep moving along here. So, Korg, we're going to be talking about Korg, of course, today with the Korg Mod Wave. They've actually got a sale on right now, and I wanted to mention it because it's 50% off or in most cases up to 50% off and that is current until the 28th of December. So, if you get to check out this podcast before the the holiday, I mean, it is holiday season now, basically. But if you get to check out this podcast, let's say, before the 28th of December, because that's when the deal ends, you can get up to 50% off. And right now, you got Cog Collection 4, which we spoke about on the podcast a couple of weeks ago now. Uh, you've got the Wave State Native and Op6 Native. Actually, I want to pick those up. I don't have those yet. 50% off on those. Actually, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe not 50% on those, but it's up to 50% off. And the COG module and Gadget 2 are on sale right now. They just did an update for the Gadget 2, which I need to check out, which looks really awesome. They actually added some more sounds from the module series, the IDM. I think we looked at that earlier in the year on the podcast. So they've actually just, it looks like they've added it for free. So if you're a Gadget 2 owner or user, check out, they've, they've just updated it literally today. I just found out today which looks really cool. Cog Collection 4 series includes the three brand new soft synth, which is the Micro Cog, my personal favorite and nostalgic fun favorite there, the Electribe R, which is a Naughty's classic drum machine. And you also get the Chaos Pad now in software form, which is freaking amazing. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the uh, Wave State Native and Op6 Native. Yeah, they're half price. They're half price, 99 USD at the moment. They're usually 199 so that's really cool. And, of course, all of the Korg Collection 4 series is on sale. Anyway, check it out. thought it was worth a mention if you love Korg. And, of course, if you're here for the podcast for Korg Mod Wave, that would be very interesting and, and excellent for you indeed. Mod Wave has an intro deal, which we'll talk about when we get to that. But let's move along to our next product. Now, Native over at Native Instruments, they... They're doing their usual holiday giveaway freebies thing, but you should definitely not miss out on it because there's some good stuff. So one, if you click over, you go onto their, you just go to Native Instruments, it's the first thing at the top of the page, you can get 40 bucks off any software, there's an e-voucher for you right now, just waiting, just sitting there for you to take advantage of to get 40 bucks off. They've also released this <clears throat> brand new instrument here, Hypha, which sounds amazing. It's free right now. It will become a paid version if you don't snap it up. But right now it's free, so hopefully you get to click on it, download it for free right now. Now, I'll have affiliate links for this down below. Right now, 50% off Isotope. So if you want to up your music production game in 2023, go check out Isotope. Honestly, I use Isotope on pretty much all my tracks now especially on the master for with ozone because they've just with ozone and the artificial intelligence they've added and all the extra bells and whistles like uh, you don't need to i mean i'm sorry to all the mastering engineers out there and there probably are some that are really good you still want to use but to be honest as a musician in 2022 you can master your own tracks now to a standard that is really high quality and that's thanks to ozone so upgrade your mixing and mastering chains with a massive 50% off wide range of Isotope favorites. Choose from Nectar 3, which is amazing on vocals, Vocal Synth 2, which is a really cool synth, any element products, including Element Suite, Tonal Balance, Control 2, Audio Lens, 
which is an amazing little plugin started at two by my friend bt sounds amazing and any of the stratus and symphony reverbs and simply use the code jolly50 anyway i'll have a link for that sale down below by isotope there with 50 percent off and then yeah this instrument hi-fi this is a free instrument it sounds so good so organic much like the picture they've got here on the goo can i zoom in on that a little bit there so reignite your creative spark with 156 carefully created presets of blossoming acoustic electric hybrids all inspired by nature and designed to keep you creating well into the new year each sound is fully tweakable and enhanced with eight of Contact 7 studio grade effects. And you also get full access to a range of tuning systems, randomization options, and a unique mod wheel based performance mod for creating full lush chord progressions and single key presses. Now, I believe this is only available on Contact 7. So that is a, a bit of a shame if you're an older Contact user, but you should just upgrade anyway because Contact 7 is amazing. Anyway, click the link down below for your native instruments and your isotope affiliate links. Let's have a quick listen to Haifa here. All right, I think you get the idea. A bit of a Miramasa inspired demo there, but you get the idea of those organic sounds. It, it did jump in, the demo jumped in halfway there, but you get the idea with those sounds playing very lush, organic, and lovely to hear. And they've also got a competition going right now over at this. You've just got to check this out. Reignite your creative spark with a very special New Year's competition from Metapop. Simply create a new track using Haifa for a chance to win huge prizes from NI, Isotope, and Plugin Alliance. You can win this uh, MIDI control here, a micro machine. This is cool. And a bunch of plugins. Anyway, check it out, guys. Native Instruments doing the goods this holiday season. They've been an amazing partner to Emlyn in the mix in 2022, so big shout-outs to them. And keeping it Native Instruments here, they did release an expansion, Borrow Chops. What is it? Dig into the timeless sounds of 90s style, East Coast, boom bap, lay down head nodding grooves with hard hitting drums, funky basses, and slacked keys, 50 machine kits, 56 battery kits, 5 massive presets, 290 loops, and 481 shots. Check it out. Let's have a listen here. Nice. If you like the old school, you like that old Brooklyn blocks, Borrow Chops is going to definitely feed your craving for that. And it's a new expansion. Native Instruments dropping a new expansion at the end of the year. What a prolific year it has been for those boys over there. Boys and girls, click the link down below if you want to get Borrow Chops as well and support the channel. Affiliate, full disclosure, f affiliate links. But you're helping, you're not only... Not only are you getting yourself a deal, like you're helping yourself, you're also helping me and you're helping this channel so we can grow, we can reach a wider audience. Actually, you're not just helping me, you're helping the person next door who maybe wants to get into music production. They want to learn. Just think about that. You're expanding the music creation around the world simply by clicking on the link down below. No joke. It's true. It's true. I've got to check it out. There's a book called The Prophet, and it's an amazing book from what I've heard. I haven't read it, so I probably shouldn't just say it's an amazing book. But the theory behind it is that you are responsible for everyone on this planet. And I like that theory because me doing this podcast, you're hearing this information. You're like, wow, this sounds good. I want to get this. I'm going to support this channel. I'm going to click that link. But you're not only just supporting this channel. The extra people that get to check out this channel, the expansion, when we grow, we get more people inspired and creating, that is the main goal of this. And 
I know we're going deep here with the prophet I don't, that I haven't read, but the idea of that is really cool, and I want to I want to keep that to this this podcast, especially in twenty twenty three. All right, again, full of surprises. What did I say? Let's keep moving along. So then, Akai just randomly this last week just dropped a new a couple of new products. So we got the APC Key twenty five Mark II keyboard controller, a nice little MIDI controller there. Look at that. It's got the live sort of session um, buttons here. You can trigger off a few little parameter, 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 parameter knobs. I was in Sydney last week. I was I was in Parramatta. So now my freaking now we're saying Parramatta instead of parameter knobs. Whatever. Um, looks like a nice MIDI controller. I have to say I've never owned an Akai MPC or an APC key Mark II or whatever. Oh, not this Mark II, of course, just dropped. But I haven't owned any of their MIDI controllers. I have heard from my community that they're perhaps not the best build quality, but I don't know. I need to check that out for myself because when I see these, they look great and they're fully featured performance MIDI keyboard controllers that seamlessly deliver the power to perform and create anywhere for the perfect combination of clip launching, there you go, and composing in Ableton Live, bring your original melodies, chord structures, and laid harmonic ideas to life. I like the small form factor as well. And to top it off, Akai just decided to drop the APC Mini, which is a next generation Ableton controller. Again, look at this clip-based, fully clip-based. If you're into clip-based production or you need something for a live setup, this is going to fit the bill. Look at it. Focus on your performance. I love it. Actually, it looks a bit bigger than I realized. Let's zoom in here. Akai APC Mini. It's still small, though. That looks great. Look, if you're doing clip-based production and you need something small factor, this really... Actually, I want to check this out. This will fit the bill. 64 brilliant RGB backlit pads, APC Mini Mark II features 64 new RGB backlit pads for brilliant and precise representation of your Ableton live session clips. And whether in the studio or on stage, the scrollable RGB enabled pad matrix will boldly shine through in the heart of your most creative moments, launch and activate loops, instruments, vocals, and more with confidence. That's cool because a lot of those clip-based MIDI controllers that I've owned in the past haven't quite represented what I had on the screen in Ableton Live when I'm doing clip-based recording. Good to know they got the colors and the RGB right. I mean, that's not really the most important thing, but I think this, this looks great for live performance. I know my friend is looking for something like this and this just dropped the other day. Amazing stuff. Again, 2022, full of surprises. Here we are at the very end of the year and new products getting released. I cannot believe it. That looks cool. That that I'm, I want to check out. I probably want to check that over more, the MIDI controller. I mean, if you need something small and portable, this is probably the way to go. But I think this, for me, appeals a bit better. For me, personally, anyway. All right, let's move along. And Roland this year, who I'm representing again hat and jumper here they celebrated their 50th anniversary this year there was a 50 it was 50 years of roland in 2022 which means they kick things off in 1972 and to celebrate they released a bunch of products but this one was none the lesser they released a brand new jazz chorus amp the jc 120 and it's a limited edition now i'm not a guitar player but i do respect and love guitar gear as well because it's it's an awesome instrument and look knowing that this is roland first of all we speak aesthetically it's aesthetically very pleasing to look at and you got this 50th anniversary badge down here on the actual amp itself how nice is this so they've basically from my understanding it's a a replica or an older one they've just updated a very special version of a very special amp and i'll just read back here from roland what they say to express our gratitude to all our loyal roland customers throughout the world we're pleased to present the jc120 jazz chorus roland 50th anniversary limited edition a special collector's version of the classic jc120 jazz chorus amplifier true legend in music history the jc120 has been in continuous production since 1975 and is roland's longest running product offering the inspiring jc clean tone and immersive stereo chorus of the standard model 
This special release features a natural cherry wood finish, dark grey grill, cloth material, and a commemorative badge with a hand graved, hand engraved serial number. Okay, look. I mean, this looks beautiful, and if you are a guitar player and you love the sound of the jazz chorus amp, then knowing that's Roland, you know it's going to be good. Anyway, that's that. We're not going to we're not going to play back any audio from that. But there you go, another product just getting dropped towards the end of the year. I dare say, if you were to pick up one of these, they'll they'll go up in value. I think they'll just go up in value for sure. Like, yeah, it's a limited edition. And it's Roland. And if it's something that's been in production for that long and it's, you know, that wanted and loved, you know it's going to be good for a long time to come. I mean, you could, you could be playing this JC120 Jazz Chorus. Think about this. What is it, 2022? Let's do another 50 years. In 2072, if you're listening to this podcast, can you let me know? I don't know if I'll be alive anymore in 20... I'm not sh- maybe. I'll be pretty old. But in 2072, you could be playing the JC120 Jazz Chorus. Will you be doing that? I want to know. Please let me know. Leave a comment in 2072 down below. Make sure you do it in 2070. Don't do it now. I don't want to know for 50 years. Uh, in 50 years, I want to know if you're playing that Jazz Chorus. All right, that'd be a really funny comment, actually. All right, let's move along. Is anyone going to be watching? Is YouTube even going to be here? I hope so. But I'm on, on I'm on a bunch of other platforms. Do you think Spotify, maybe, 50 years, possibly? Or all the other podcasting platforms? Who knows? Anyway, we've moved along. I digress. We are going a little bit off tangent today. We're going off the rails on the podcast. It is the last podcast of the year. I'm excited. I'm happy to have made this milestone pigments pigments yes pigments four i didn't even know there was a pigments one two or three but somehow pigments four version four is here and yeah if you're a pigments user or you're aware of pigments they've updated the software and it looks pretty good actually i gotta be honest they've they've done some we're gonna go over it quickly over its new features here what is pigments so it's a polychrome software synthesizer we should probably look up polychrome but anyway Pigments is a soft synth VST with the power to create any sound from the best mix ready modern presets to deep custom sound design. Explore every shade of synthesis and make your wildest sonic fantasy a full color reality, whatever your style. Okay, so here it is here. If you're watching us on the podcast, it looks really nice. I love these like embedded videos they have on websites now, like Web3. No, it's not Web3, I'm just being silly. And they've got an intro offer at the moment too, by the way. I think it's 99. They got some expansions, 99 USD and expansions from $20. And that's half price, I believe. What do we got here? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's half price. Anyway, let's quickly look at what is actually new. So you got a play mode. So take a step back and enjoy a simplified overview of your entire sound with the strip back module and hands on macros. So to have totally changed here, you got a different look, uh, you can, a f- refreshed graphical interface and a high contrast light mode makes pigments easier to navigate than ever. So they've got sort of like a white mode and a dark mode here. If you prefer working with a lighter skin, there you can. The best sound design workflow yet, quick drag and drop modulation, editing, LFO, waveform, presets, odd sound, MTS, ESP, micro tuning compatibility and more. So yeah, they've looks like they've updated that in the background which is pretty crazy Uh, we go down here i've got it on big mode for my eyes enhanced engine wavetable engine ring mod and pdom extra harmonic engine phase options and streamline unison controls yeah that's new this is all new super unison new effects and filters introducing the ms20 filter shimmer reverb super unison and improvements to a number of existing effects and filters and fresh sound exploration. Discover a huge selection of new factory presets, wavetable samples, and noise modes. Okay, it's Pigment 4. And if you don't know Pigments, it sounds amazing. And check it out over at Aturia. No affiliate here, but I thought it was worth a mention because look at this, a fresh drop again, another fresh drop. We didn't get to do the podcast that I was originally anticipating, best of 2022. But what can I say? This year has just been full of surprises. Again, our keyword for today. All right, here we are. So if you've come to this podcast or you've come to this video, you wanted to check out the Korg 
mod wave thank you so much for joining me if you skipped all of that music technology news and you came straight here well now we are here and we're going to talk about this new release here from korg it is the mod wave native now synthesis powerhouse with distinctive wavetable timbres chaos physics and motion sequencing 2.0 and it's available as a plugin for mac and windows and we're going to have a little play with the presets. We'll have a little navigation around to see how it works. Now I am running a demo today and you can download a demo. The demo is completely free. And we'll talk about that uh, little soft synth plugin in a sec. We're just going to go over the history here. So in 1985, COGS DWA 8000 combined digital wavetables with rich analog filters to give users sounds which were impossible to create with analog oscillators. And it's still a cult favorite today. Now, the mod wave released in 2021, which we would have spoken about here in the podcast, builds on the DW legacy and transforms it into a modern monster synth, featuring incredibly deep wavetable oscillators, gorgeous filters, wildly flexible modulation, sophisticated pattern sequencing, and macro controls to deliver unique, powerful, and easily customizable sounds and phrases. Now, Korg is pleased to announce ModWave Native, the fully compatible software counterpart to the hardware ModWave synthesizer. ModWave Native is an, available as a VC3, AAX, and standalone formats on both macOS and Windows, as well as AO on macOS. And you can seamlessly exchange sound between hardware and software. Produce in your door with ModWave Native and then play the same sounds on stage using the ModWave hardware, if you have one of those, of course. That's pretty cool, actually. Create sounds with the hardware's hands-on interface and then share them with a computer-based controller. Plus, you can use any of the many third-party sounds libraries available for the hardware ModWave, as well as simple, as well as sample libraries designed to either the ModWave or Wave state. That's pretty cool that they've made the integration between the software and the hardware. But of course, you need to own the hardware to have that deep integration. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. You can use the software. It's pretty good. Now, just quickly, just for those of you who don't know, and I, I made a little video about this because I didn't actually know what modulation wavetable synthesis was really. And what it really is here, I'm just going to explain it really quickly in, in this podcast. And for those of you who are watching, you might be like, oh, duh, you don't know what that is. I already know. But there are people that don't know these things. Okay. So basically, I'm trying to zoom in here. I don't know if I can, but if we have a look at the top left here, this is an example of modulation or wavetable synthesis. And all it is, is it's, it's a morphing between the oscillator, between all these uh, frames here. It's a morphing between those oscillation sounds. And that's what wavetable synthesis is. It's scanning through and it can scan through those different waves at a different time or you can have it going fast and you can have all different sort of things. Anyway, it basically what it, it's just a modern music technique which gives a really rich and amazing and interesting sound as it scans through morphs, sorry is the better word, not scan, morphs through those different waves and oscillations to create a, a truly unique sound. And the mod wave... I just was, I was reading this uh, website earlier. This mod wave can do between, it's got these four things. We're going to talk about these four layers, basically, that it sort of um, goes through with the chaos physics as well. You can sort of scan through them. I'm going to have to explain it better when we do the demo, but you can have up to 2.8 million variations of sounds. That is insane. Like that... 2.8 million, think about that. 2,800,000 possibilities because of, you know, being able to mix between the four layers. Anyway, I hope I, hope I explained that well because some people are like, they're probably left now. They were like, oh, man, no, nah, that's not what it means. Anyway, I'm just being silly. Mod wave synthesis engine. So when we call the wavetable oscillators, now we know what a wavetable oscillator is deep. We are not kidding. So you start with over 200 wavetables, so 200 wavetables that it can 
you know, morph through, each containing up to 64 wave forms and from thousands of individual waves used the 30 plus modifiers for change their basic character. I'm just dropping stuff in the background here and the 30 morph types to process them in real time, create new hybrids from any two wave tables using the unique real time AB blend quick math. Oh, here I was wrong. It's more. This is great. What did I say? 2.8. That's 230 million. What? Wavetable variations out of the box. And that's before you even add modulation. Okay. I was, what did I say? Where did I get 2.8 million? Okay. That's more insane. That's actually next level. We're getting up to the billies there. We're, we're coming up to the billies. Okay. So the chaos physics thing sits in the middle and that sort of is like a from my understanding, it blends between layers. I know I'm giving you a sort of a lighter overview. I'm trying to not get too technical here. But they're calling it uh, chaos physics here. Let's have a look. So chaos phys physics models a ball rolling on a surface or bouncing off walls. And you can throw the ball. You can do gestures with your mouse or trackpad, which is pretty cool. You can sort of flick it and launch the ball automatically using a trigger switch source such as gate or damper and you can also directly control the ball by dragging without releasing and you can use door automation to record both gestures and direct control and the position of the ball produces four modulation signals which can be used to control any modulation designation you like the x and y locations and the distance from the center an angle received the x-axis the result is an interactive controller that amplifies your physics gesture transforming them into captivating complex and evolving musical results i don't know why i'm doing this from hand i'm trying to show you what that chaos physics will be doing i think i think at this point let's just jump over because i could talk and talk and talk all day about the mod wave but really i think you've just come here to check it out and you can Luckily, you can skip past all of that, me talking and so forth. But let's just check. We've got some sound. Yeah, we got sound. Oh, yeah. Sounds good, doesn't it? That's the mod wave there. So, so we look here. We've got wavetable synthesis going here, right? And if we move the chaos physics here around, we can see layer A now. I've flicked the ball a bit, it's moving around in a circular motion. But layer A is going into effect here, which are, is sort of just moving up and down as a sawtooth or something, sawtooth wave. It's not going, it's not morphing through the other oscillations here, but that's cool. It's just doing something random. And then over here, layer B has like a sample. And then layer B2, so layer B1 has a sample that's playing back which is a Chinese gong. I can't even hear that, really. Maybe if we go right over here. Not sure where it is, but you can hear as I go around the chaos physics here, you can hear the different sounds playing back. And layer B, so layer B2 has a wavetable going as well. Really interesting, actually. Just playing with the chaos physics and just going between layer is just amazing let's see what else we could play here let's get a different preset up cathedral pad Now we can change the characteristic of the chaos physics as well. So you've got different presets in here where the ball's sort of doing more, being more active, or it's, you know, being less active. I like there's a, a roof one you can have as well. What was it? The You can sort of add gravity and, oh, see, look at that. I've got to go nuts. So it's sort of going to give us some really strange so you can add yeah you can add gravity here so it's the ball sort of going to the right there but we haven't got anything in layer b on this particular preset so we'll just keep going through here we go we've got more going on here
to and see our two wavetable synthesis here in layer A and layer B. It looks like they're the same. And then we move our chaos physics around. We can hear like a sine wave up the top there. Coming in. <laughs> Sorry. But anyway, all in all, I mean, let's be real. It's COG and it sounds really amazing as usual. That's what you came here for. You COG fanboys and fangirls, you know why you're here. You just want to see someone else playing with some COG and you love it and you'll just come to the channel and give me thousands of views and I appreciate you for that. <laughs> but, but no, in all seriousness, this is a really, it honestly is a really nice emulation. Look, I never owned the Mod Wave, so I can't speak on behalf of being an owner of one, but my friend has one, I've played it, and it's a beautiful sounding synth. But to be honest, I'm... To be honest, I'm really loving the the software that Cog's doing at the moment. Like, I would almost bypass getting the hardware at this point because it just sounds so good. Because you get all the functionality, and but you get more. Like, you can't do this on the hardware. You can't just flick the X, Y and get some real trippy and far out effects like that. I mean, you can, uh, I, okay, you can play with it, but you can't just have it going automatically, you know, like that, not that I'm aware of. Maybe you can. Just really rich, really lush is these words I've stolen from the Pigments 4, but honestly, Pigments 4 is as well. Don't get me wrong, but that's what I'm getting from this. With the, because you're essentially getting four layers mixed in together with the chaos physics, and you get some just amazing results. We can actually change, inside the cast physics as well, you can change sort of like the bump height, you can change the friction, the time it's doing stuff. Let's keep going through here. There's a lot the synth has to offer. Like we're merely on the podcast today doing a very light overview. So hopefully I've explained, you know, your four different layers here, or your two layers and your two different inserts in each layer so you're essentially having four here right but you have got like things like you do have an arp down here if you want an arp probably not a great preset to demo that off let's see if we can get a let's see if we can get a sound that would be perfect for that maybe this <laughs> so you got an arp on board and you can change of course but this is not a good preset again for the ARP. And motion sequencer as well. And actually there is this dice mode up the top here. If you just wanted to just roll the dice, get something random, you can do that. And you can actually choose how much randomization you want, like 25% of modulation immersiveness, uh, FX mods, knob phase at 25%. Let's just do it. Let's see what happens. So we hit randomize here. Here we go. We should have a new sound. There you go. And as it said in that, you know, we read it back, there's 230 million variations you can have. It's a really weird one. Let's go again. Wasn't happy with that randomization, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to search for something for you. Let's go again. I'm gonna try and get all layers going if possible with my randomization. Oh, maybe we're not gonna get it. Okay, it's fine. Let's check out what we've got here. Let's go back to the presets. Oh, wow, look at this. 
four wavetables going. And the cast physics going around. Honestly, that sounds alien. Like that, there is nothing quite like that in terms of a synth. Like the concept I know of this is not necessarily new, but it is modern in the modern technology world still, I guess, relatively modern. I mean, it is 80s that they were thinking of this, but still the amount of variations and the amount, the amount of variabilities this is producing is just amazing. But listen to that. Very nice indeed. That's called Desert Walk. Listen to a couple more here. That has a very Korg sound to it, but I love it. Digimotion there. Let's listen to another one. Had the uh, motion sequencer in full effect there. This is called Dirty Little Piano. That's nice. Put some cast physics in it. Full cog effect. We got a drum drum beat in there. Anyway, we're not going to have two hands. It's a bit better to play or a bit easier to play. Anyway, that is the mod wave. I know it was a very, very skimped over sort of look at it, but I think hopefully I've explained to you how it works. You can see it's all happening in the background. It's just basically heaps of oscillators scanning through, morphing through heaps of oscillators, and you got all these different layers. And as I said, 230 million variations of sounds. It's just nothing short of impressive and interesting. And you can get those really almost alien sounds out of this particular synthesizer. I think Cog have done an amazing job on, of course, the emulation. They always seem to do. They've This one was actually designed by their California, Cog team in California who actually produced the original DW8000 synthesizer from the 80s so they've actually come on board with the original engineers of that hardware synthesizer and put all their hard work into this software which is really cool and amazing to see and I dare say that, that some of those people were also of course involved in the hardware version of the Modway but I'm really happy with this I think this sounds amazing I really desire and love what Korg is doing at the moment and yes I'm a Korg fanboy and I know you are too because that's why you're watching this and thank you so much for joining me that's gonna end it for today's podcast the last podcast for 2022 for emlyn in the mix thank you so much for what it has been a wild ride an amazing ride and an just enjoyable and surprising ride the music technology world has not ceased to amaze me in 2022 it has just been such an interesting year big shout outs to all of the partners here on Emlyn in the Mix who've looked out for me, affiliate link links and everything is going to be down below again. Support yourself, support the channel and support your boys next door, boys or girls next door because who knows, you could be inspiring others to get into music production or help them on their journey. 
into music production. Big shout outs to Native Instruments, Isotope, Baby Audio, Cherry Audio, who else? UVI. You guys have all been amazing support to the channel. I've probably missed some there, but thank you so much to everyone who has jumped on board and supported the channel. Really super appreciate it. Rolly uh, has been there as well and a bunch more. IK Multimedia, I can't think right now, but there is heaps of people who have actually, those companies who have supported the channel. Let me look at gear to show you guys here in 2022. But thank you guys. I can't believe we did 50 episodes. That is absolutely insane. And even I had holidays and we still managed to pop out, you know, podcast after podcast, even during those. But look, next year we'll be back, definitely season four. And probably I may not do 50 episodes. We'll see how we go because that's it's it's almost one a week in the year. Might shoot for 45 or something like that. But we'll be back. I haven't got the exact date yet. Just follow me if you follow me on the socials you'll know or if you subscribe to this podcast and you want to know when it comes back you should get notified when season four kicks off but we should be back <clears throat> mid jan i would say or towards the end of jan mid jan to towards the end of jan it's not really that much of time off just a couple of weeks and then Amlin mix will be back but also if you are subscribed here on the youtube channel if you're watching us here on youtube <clears throat> i'll be releasing a bunch of videos so you know i'm not going anywhere it's just the podcast is going to wrap up for a few weeks but thank you so much to you guys too for listening uh, my regular listeners thank you so much and to everyone who's watched the podcast or the show today i hope you have a happy holiday season snap up those deals enjoy your time off eat be merry don't eat and drink too much and feel sick but just get to a nice lovely point produce some amazing beats and thank you so much for joining me everyone all right we'll be back season four next year thanks so much peace out boom hey Thanks for listening to the Amlin In The Mix podcast. Here, you will find all the latest in music technology, software and hardware, interviews and more. Also, don't forget to check out the Amlin In The Mix YouTube channel today. Till next time, keep it real.